the technology likely to have the greatest impact on the next few decades has arrived. It's the underlying technology of digital currencies like Bitcoin. It's called the blockchain. So today we rely entirely on big intermediaries, middlemen like banks, to establish trust in our economy. And overall, they do a pretty good job. But there are growing problems. To begin, they're centralized. That means that they can be hacked, and increasingly are. They slow things down. It can take a second for an email to go around the world, but it can take days or weeks for money to move through the banking system across the city. They capture our data, and they take a big piece of the action, 10 to 20 percent, just to send money to another country. Well, in 2008, the financial industry crashed, and an unknown、uh, or anonymous person or persons named Satoshi Nakamoto developed a protocol for a, a digital cash that used an underlying cryptocurrency called Bitcoin. This cryptocurrency enabled people to establish trust and do transactions without a third party. Now, don't be confused about Bitcoin. It's a cryptocurrency. It's not a fiat currency controlled by a nation state. But the real pony here is the underlying technology. It's called blockchain. For the first time now in human history, people everywhere can trust each other and transact peer to peer. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how does this thing work? Fair enough. Assets, digital assets, are not stored in a central place, but they're distributed across a global ledger. And when a transaction is conducted, it's posted globally across millions and millions of computers. And out there around the world is a group of people called miners. And every 10 minutes, a block gets created that has all the transactions from the previous 10 minutes. And then the miners get to work trying to solve some、uh, tough problems, and the first miner to find out the truth and to validate the block is rewarded in digital currency. And then that block is linked to the previous block and the previous block to create a chain of blocks. So if I wanted to go and and hack a block, I'd have to hack that block plus all the preceding blocks, the entire history of commerce. Not just on one computer, but across millions of computers simultaneously, all using the highest levels of encryption. Tough to do, and this is infinitely more secure than the computer systems that we have today. Blockchain—that's how it works.